you niggas see what I see? You niggas really try to cancel Ye. Nigga, I ain't with it. Nah, we was screaming to hell. Now we want to kill them all. And I mean, I mean, holler at Kanye about the genocidal talk. <laughs> Wasn't he the one that was about to go DEFCON 3 on Jewish? Was that? That, that was him, right? In terms of what he said, like, I get his point, but it, it just feels like one of those things where it's like we're crossing wires, you know what I'm saying? It's like, there are lots of mentally unwell people that aren't saying anti-Semitic stuff. That, that's not an excuse, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, when it first popped, it was being super anti-Semitic. Then it's like, all right, bro, come on now. But after a certain point, it does kind of feel like, uh, yeah, I, I, I really don't like continuing. Like, when he did the new album, it's like, okay, part of this is just going to be, like, the fact of the spectacle of Kanye West. You know what I'm saying? If someone pays me to review it, I'll do it. But I'm just like, I'm not trying to go out of my way to let Because I was like, eh, bad energy, bad energy. I just don't need it. There's more music happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I get what he's saying, but it's like, it's the skirting by. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like, yeah, you're right. We should care about the dope. But he really gonna act like he didn't say all that shit. Like, are we really meant it? Like, you know what I mean? Because it's like, that's the thing about the, uh, this sort of thing. Like, mental health really only exacerbates, like, an unhealthy personality trait that you're already, like, exhibiting a lot of the time. Especially with stuff like that, you know? Where it's like going manic and shit like that, you know what I mean? You could have been, you know, manic about turning on the light switch on and off 30 times. But that wasn't what you were manic about. <laughs> you're clearly dealing with some other shit. And it's like, mixing and flixing together. But at the same time, it's like, uh, let's walk and chew gum at the same time. Can we do that? Can we try that? Can we be like, yeah, you, you know, we should care as an adult. And if that is the case, then maybe just don't talk about it at all. You know what I'm saying? But then let's still address the BS. Let's just not be like, I'm just going to say lots of wild raving things that people who are very, like, mentally stable but just believe BS are, like, going along with, and let's just be fine with the fact that I'm just, like, spraying all this fucking, you know what I'm saying, David Ick shit. Let's just be fine with that because he's mentally unwell. It's like, no, we gotta address both. Like, that's how I feel at the end of the day, you know? If you're gonna do it, you know? Whoever it is agreed upon that in hip-hop we don't like Donald Trump, all right? He clearly has mental health issues that he's dealing with. He's an older man, you know what I'm saying? But are we really about to say, is schoolboy Q really about to say, what happened to mental health? I say we, you know what I'm saying, let's give that Trump guy a try. Just because he's mentally unhealthy, those are people can't, like, no. Like, there's certain things we're just not going to allow just because you're, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm trying to say, you know?